While most people think that hacking a device involves breaking into it, figuring out the protocols and abusing them is an equally valid way of getting what you want. Today, we'll explore how you can perform a denial of service attack against an Internet of Things device on this episode of Cyber Weapons Lab. Internet of Things devices have a pretty terrible track record for security, and often this is because these devices are designed for convenience and not security. An example of this is any business that has a Wi-Fi network that doesn't isolate you to your own subnet. Now, Google Starbucks is an example of one that does, and when you're on that network, you won't be able to see or interact with other people who are on it, and that's by design. However, a lot of small and medium-sized businesses that offer internet to their customers do not do this, which basically gives you access to do a lot of things to the, to the other devices on the network. Now, this allows you to do things like scan, discover devices, and in the case of devices like, say, a Sonos speaker, control the device without necessarily needing to break into it. Now, this is because the Sonos API that it's controlled by will accept messages from basically anyone who's authenticated to the network, allowing anybody who's on that network to do basically any action that the Sonos app can do. Now, this documented API has been turned into a Python library, and we can use this to write all sorts of complicated actions or even simple ones that repeat over and over and take over the system to do, to do what we want instead. Now, we can also use this uh, in a beneficial way to write our own programs to control the Sonos, but on a malicious level, an uh, attacker could use it to make the device do something that it's not supposed to do, in this case, just simply turn off over and over and over so quickly that nobody with the app would be able to possibly get it to do anything else. Now, of course, you could just sit there with the app open and just press uh, the pause button over and over, but that would be very suspicious. And while it actually would work, uh, we want to write something a little bit more fine-tuned so that you can understand that it's actually very possible to attack a device when it's work working perfectly fine and you haven't broken into it. You're just abusing the way that uh, its internal API or its internal controls are designed to work. Now, to do this, we'll need to be connected to a Wi-Fi network that has a Sonos uh, on it, and we'll need to have Python 3 with the SoCo library installed, which will allow us to send commands to the Sonos either uh, in a live shell or in a program that we can write in PyCharm. So once we have all that together, we can begin. Hey, Bytes. In 2019, YouTube started enforcing a ban on instructional hacking. And as a result, we started getting warnings and even a strike on some of our content. Now, in order to make sure we didn't get taken off YouTube entirely, we had to move some of the more problematic videos over to the Nullbyte website. Now, I understand this is a little bit annoying, but you can still access the content by checking out the link below and in the description. Thanks for understanding. Now, just as a reminder, this is technically a denial of service attack. So while doing something helpful with this uh, script is maybe a nicer idea, you do need to have permission who, from whoever owns the device in order to directly control it. Now, their forgetting to set this, um, this feature up doesn't necessarily mean that they want you to control it, so be sure to ask before you start interacting with other people's devices, because this one in particular is very noticeable. And of course, it's possible to go around doing something like brick-rolling people, but, you know, an ethical person would never do that. Internet of Things devices have a tough job. They're expected to function autonomously for long periods of time, and they have to provide value to many different users who might not really understand how they're set up or how to use them. Because of this, it's easy to attack any device that uses an API that's well documented and understood using some of the built-in functions, and the sort of attack can scale to many different things that use APIs besides a simple Sonos speaker. That's all we have for this episode of Cyber Weapons Lab. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any thoughts or feedback on the show, send me a message on Twitter, because I'd love to hear it. We'll see you next time.